That's fine. As long as guy gets that spear stuff, you know what I'm saying? Furion's HP increase, so that was 10 battles. Where is the Inn in Salaman? Is it right in front of me? Yeah. This week on Cory Explains It All. Huh. 66. Typing is hard? Yeah, why did you type 66? Words are hard. I'm gonna just go. <laughs> Alright, so we want to go back this way. I just wanted to stay at the end so that I had mana. Or MP. Easy peasy. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I don't really care about Joseph that much. He's cool and all, but... 156 damage, my god! Literally none of my dudes can hit him because if they do, he'll die. The support group just for Amanda. So we want to come up here. And now we can actually... Oh my god. Hello? I was trying to ex show the snow. Hang on. This is important. Thank you. I need to use the Suna as much as I can. It's probably going to miss though. A support group for Amanda or me? Because you guys are a little bit of... A little bit of both, honestly. So this is the snow craft, which is like a boat, but with with little with little skis on it. Snow craft. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm fine with it. <laughs> uh, these are new enemies, snowman. Pretty easy stuff. They have like uh, less than 30 health. They have 45 health. Pretty easy. They don't drop any items. None whatsoever. So no point in killing any of those. Because who cares? It's crafting the fuck out of the snow. Isn't it? It doesn't protect you against random battles, obviously, like the canoe does. The canoe, you can't get into a random in battle. Random in battle? Same with, like, the airship. Icicle! So these guys are a little bit harder. Still not hard, though. Uh, especially for us at this point in the game. Even Joseph is one-shotting him, which is which is pretty strong. I actually don't know why he's one-shotting. He shouldn't be. So this is where we're going. That's the snow cavern. I'm just going to come up here and look around real quick. There is a mini game on the snow craft, but I don't actually know how to how to do it. Snow craft, another old blizzard game. I don't get it. It was the pre uh, the predecessor to uh, Starcraft and Warcraft, snow craft. You don't know it? Okay. Um, that joke is literally 10 minutes old. Did somebody say that? But everyone just throws snowballs at each other? I love it. Okay, snow, snow cavern time. The Great White North. Uh, so there's actually a few things that we can get in here. Look at those. Look at those! Oh my god. Fire. 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 Uh, just attack, dude. <laughs> Don't even bother. I love these designs, too, for these guys. They look so good. Wow, this is a big staircase. 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So these grenades can self-destruct, naturally. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Find my lady pick. Miles is on your head? That's weird. Nice! Cool. Good job. Easy. So that guy way in the back, the goblin guard, he cannot attack me right now. Like, at all. Cannot do anything. I'm using Blink, which raises my character's evasion. Uh, the only reason I'm using that is to level it up. Same with Toad. I just want Toad to hit level 16. I don't care uh, about any other spells or attacks or anything right now. Even though she could be using her bow to kill this guy in the back line. Joseph will take it down pretty quick. Thinking you might wish, right? Seriously. Furion's agility! Magic, defense, agility, all good. Should be a chest up here with some money in it. That's only the big party. Like, the three I don't really care about. Anything below, below four, uh, I'll just physically attack. Since they'll all go down. There should be... Oh, there it is. Okay. 300 gil. Oh, nope. Did not mean to do that. Screwed up hard on this one. Oops. Four. Dude, he's already... Like, Joseph is already stepping it up. I'm proud of him, man. Proud of him. Joseph's strength increased. Perfect. Oh my god, ran a battle. Every two seconds. You'd make a pretty girl, Devin. You know what it is? It's that pretty mouth of yours. Three hundred and fifty gil, not bad. That's so weird. That looks like a place you can go, but it's not. Or is it? That's how we get out. Uh, I think there's... Oops. <laughs> Zoe is going to come in all angry. Stop flirting with Devin on stream. Sorry. Whistle that back in college when your hair was pretty long. Nice. Which reminds me, go see Bohemian Rhapsody, guys, if you have not, because it's fantastic. It's so good. It's so good. I heard, I heard really, like, mediocre things about it. But I didn't think it was mediocre at all. Definitely plays it safe. But it's damn good. Yeah, actually, that's a good thing, Amanda. Don't be, don't be, don't be sad that you don't get catcalled. We are so overpowered. You loved it too, Pavilion? Good. Oh my god, I loved it. It definitely, it definitely had kid gloves on. You know what I mean? Like, it played it safe. I, I understand why it did. Definitely played it safe. But, like, Remy Malik is... Uh, if he doesn't get an Oscar, I would... I, like, he's so good. He's so good. You forget that you're watching an actor, and you start thinking that you're watching Freddie Mercury. 100%. He's so good. Oh, that's gotta be cold as shit! Alright, I'm just gonna attack these. Easy. Running away? Oh, they, so they ran away from you? Even better. 
So these rooms uh, oh, have dual heads. Shit. Um, actually a pretty tough enemy, obviously. 94 damage. If I wasn't so strong right now, that would have been pretty crazy. Gonna have to call it a day. All right, I'll see you, Diggy Dig Dig. Pretty damn... Thank you for hanging out today, man. Emery7. Uh, pretty damn... Those guys would like... Whew. All the painful memories and harsh insults. Did you get a lot of them today? I feel like people went really easy on you. Uh, ghouls! I think this is the first time seeing one of these. We can one-shot these, so I'm not going to show you, but we can also use a garlic on them and they'll die. Which is pretty nice. But we're going to be one-shotting everything. I can't wait until we get to the boss fights. You guys are going to be like, oh... Am I doing something wrong here? No, this is where I want to go. Oh shit! So don't stress too much. Yeah. <laughs> Four twenty-five. That's a lot of damage. I actually want them to hit Joseph as much as they can. College was strange, getting catcalled. People running away from you. I just want my toad to hit level five. That'll help. That'll help get to level five. Not enough, obviously, but... Antarctic Wind. So an Antarctic Wind is a on-use item that acts like casting Blizzard. Uh, stone with the same effect as Blizzard. I forget, though, what the... Uh, it's like a powerful one. Deadhead and Zombie. Let's go ahead and use... Let's use a Garlic on it, just so that I can show you. Oh, I can use it on both. Cool. Ready? It's so cool. Like, it just does damage to the undead. I think that's fun. For Devin, it was real eye-opening. Among other things. Hang on, hang on, hang on. use life against all of them. Ah, missed. Got two, though. <laughs> Damn it, Devin! <laughs> Why were they in their boxes? Are you sure they were trying to scare you? You sure? Agility, HP, not bad. Alright, I want to go this way. Because this will lead back up to where I want to go. It's fine, we can finish all this up. Like, I haven't even he had to heal once. Look at my health. 1,400, over 1,400. But they, but they still knew who you were. Maybe they were waiting for someone and you, like, walked in at the same time. Just as stamina increased. Not that it really... I don't know. I don't even know if it matters. Ah! Oh, that's a lot of them. Perfect. 
let's use... If this toad lands on all of them, I'll be a very happy camper. Like, very happy. It's not going to, but... Okay. A four out of seven ain't bad. I also set my cursor to memory. Um, just because it allowed grinding stuff out to be a little bit easier in this game. Because you can literally just, like, hold down X and go do something else while you're casting spells. Three doors down. Great Bant. Great Bant. Great Bant, Devin. Love him. Easy peasy. Alright, come on. Toad level up? Yeah! Good. Good, 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 good. Battle axe? Actually, you know what? I don't think that's better than what we have. Pretty sure the battle axe is not as good, but still. Cool. Cool. You're gonna sit three doors down. Come on, they lived three doors down. If you don't say anything about them living three doors down. Like, that's... Come on. I think this one has another item. Another, uh... I think this has a mithril staff in it. Mithril Mace. Okay. A monster in a box! Okay, easy. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Toad it up. I'm trying to think of the next boss fight that we face in here. Okay, I think I, I, it is what I think it is. So, we might one-shot the next boss fight. Like, literally, one attack might kill it. Which is going to be a little funny. He's out. Guy has no mana. Guy runs out of mana super quickly because that's probably the hardest thing I would say to get in this game is uh, is MP. Yeah, his magic didn't increase. I mean, his uh, MP didn't increase, but his magic did. Yeah, you should know me by now, Devin. You should know my jokes. I really do think that the best way to play this game is to not even really use spells besides like the support spells and to just focus on weapon skills because your physical your physical attacks are just going they're just going to do way more than anything else oh hey that one's new uh shadow Should die fairly quickly. Yep. Cool model, though. Just so you know, I can shower at any time. Whoa. That's funny. Life got a little boring. Yeah, I feel that. That's true, though. I did some things in college that I'm proud of. 
not so proud of. I don't do those things anymore. Except video games. Video games and Taco Bell. I still do those. Doo, 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 doo. This water's gotta be so damn cold. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna defend with him. Story time with Devin. Hey, that's okay. Everyone, I, I've noticed that anytime I start streaming something other than WoW, people stop talking. Um, I don't know if it has to do with, like, the day, like, how late it gets in the day. Or if it's just, like, people don't really have anything to say with this type of game. I don't know. So, it's fine by me. I'm so mad that both of those missed! And the reason I'm using Furion's Blink uh, is because that can raise our um, our spirit, which is what we want from him. I don't care about his intelligence, so that's why I don't use Black Magic as him. I care about his spirit. He's our he's like our White Mage. But when you're fighting all of these, life is fine. Oh good, yeah, I'm, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I it never used to be like this on, on YouTube. But it is now, I don't know what it is, man. I think it's the game. I think people just aren't into Final Fantasy 2. Which, you're wrong, okay? All right, we're gonna have to heal, we're gonna have to heal after this. 270, guys H, okay. You know what, I'm just gonna leave it that low and see what happens. Because I can always cast... So say, I can always cast this thing. Let me cast Teleport, Toad, Attack. Still waiting on any Civ play. I told you, 24 hour stream. Okay, that was a really strong teleport. Yeah, I feel that. Most people are, right now, I think, are, are at the end of their work day and stuff like that, so they're just chilling. They have a stream on for background noise. I feel you. I think there's another item down here that I can get a preemptive strike. We are fucking dominating this game. It, It's so weird because in other games, like, I don't like being... Oh, no, there's a lot. Uh, I don't like being this strong. But in this game, in RPGs, there's something about RPGs that I like grinding and getting as powerful as I can and just destroying all of them. That promise is like the elusive pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. You know, 26, 26 $1 patrons... And we could have a sib stream. I'm trying to lower my MP as much as possible as well. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, a potion and a mithril spear. Good thing I just bought one, huh? What a waste of money. Then... I think this is just one of those rooms with the double rate. Yeah. They always make you want to check, though. Such high encounter rates in those rooms. Somebody give me a repel. Perfect. Now again, Furion is... I'm purposely not doing any damage with Furion. He has two shields equipped. 
Uh, and that's just to raise his agility and his evasion as quickly as possible. Um, and I'm actually going to alternate characters as I go through the game. So once he's good and he's missing, like, almost every attack misses on him, that's when I'm going to switch and start doing... And, like, Maria's then going to have shields. And then, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's that's the idea. All right. And then, more importantly... Oop. So every time he attacks, he's actually earning double... Double uh, shield. Double shield skill. Because he has two equips. And I think... Perfect. Alright, let's see his... 99% evasion right now. Pretty good. Two forty two, my God. Dude's barely been in my party and he's already wrecking face. I think there's also a sword in this room we can get. I think this is it. Unfortunately, the, an the ancient sword's not very good, though. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I have an idea. Ancient sword, monster in a box! Oh, easy. Oh, man. Although, I think that's the most shadows that we've seen in one encounter since we started. Shadows are technically, like, the hardest enemies in here, um, if I'm not mistaken, but, like, again, spear level increase, HP level. Um, they can inflict darkness. Still baffled how you retain all this information about RPGs. Well, I also have my, my notes in front of me. Um, I keep... I keep very detailed notes. Like, I do a lot of research, and then I keep a lot of notes anytime I stream an RPG or a game that I, like, that people know. How many times I played this? Uh, not many, actually. Once, maybe? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is use... Uh, her cure spell. And then I think I have... I bought some ethers. Oh, man, those are not worth it. Holy shit. Ooh. No, it's mostly my notes. I read a ton. If, a, if it's a game that I'm playing fresh, though, and I don't know anything about, I don't know too much. Notes is cheating. Well, okay. Best part of the game. Straight up best part of the game. So you come in here, and there's these giant creatures. And you're like, oh my god. What are these things? Giant beaver. Snook shit. Snook shit. These are beavers. Just a bunch of beavers. Okay, weird, right? Ready for the only character development in this entire game? This is the only time you ever get any character development. Giant beaver. Snook snook shit. Guy speak beaver. Snook snook shit. Sunfire? Doesn't know. Goddess's Bell? Snook, snook. 
Secret passage in wall to right. Monster guard bell. Bell in wall. So, um, so Guy can speak beaver. He can, um, he can talk to animals. That's literally the only character development in the entire game that you have for Furion, Maria, and, and Guy. That's it. Which is crazy to me. Like, it's hilarious. But yeah, that's the only, the only time that you ever learn anything about any of them. <laughs> Guy speak beaver. Literally his one line of dialogue, and I'm pretty sure in most of the game. <laughs> I also love that there's a cavern of ice, or an ice cavern, in almost every Final Fantasy game. Right, right. They, they had no names, they weren't anything, right? I'm pretty sure that part still existed in the original, though. Posted a picture of you in high school? Oh man, excited to see excited to see these throwbacks when I can scroll through Discord later. I know Majros deleted his because he's a nerd. Alright, so we have a boss fight coming up. It's not this. I'm not gonna okay, listen. I'm gonna go easy on this fight, alright? I have an idea of how best to do this fight. Okay. Okay, hang on. So if I'm not mistaken, this enemy in front of me has insanely high defense. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to chunk through it, which is good. A silver cuirass! Okay, so that's an equipment piece. But again, because I'm not using any, any, uh, any equipment whatsoever. Like, I'm not using any head armor, body armor, or arms. I just have weapons equipped. Uh, I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do, though, is equip her with... A longbow? And he's going to keep his Mithril Axe and Mithril... Um, actually going to change to the Ancient Sword. Oh, it's actually... Uh, ancient Sword and a... Uh, where's that other axe? Battle Axe. Still actually does a lot of damage. Uh, we'll see what how this goes. That's an Adamantois guarding the bell. Stay on your toes. An Adamantois. Perfect. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I just focus on attacking this, no one's going to be able to do any damage because it's... She does 20. He does 30. So that's perfect. So this has 675 health. Uh, its defense is a solid 6 rating. What you could do is you could equip everybody with the weakest possible things that they have. And fight this and you can just sit here all day wailing on him and you'll probably do zero damage uh, except maybe Joseph would do physical attacks uh, but it's pretty easy or if you wanted to kill this thing really easily what you can do is go to your items and we got a you can just do this with anybody um, we have something called the Antarctic Wind that we picked up here. We can use that on him, or we can use a blizzard. So, let's use Ice Storm 16. So, this is an incredibly powerful, uh, blizzard attack that would one-shot him almost pretty, in, pretty much entirely. And you get that in this place. So, you can kill him super quick. 600 gil for defeating him. That's all we got. No skill ups or anything. Thought we'd get a skill up, but uh, that's fine. Alright, let me equip his stuff again. What was I using? Mithril Spear? That ancient sword's actually really good. A sword that evokes an ancient curse. Uh, it does add a status ailment. You actually saw it. It worked on um, it worked on the Adamantois. It gave him the status ailment. 
Anyways, Goddess Bell. He's a Maluk's Grotto, anyone? There's something set in the wall. It's the Goddess's Bell. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. You obtain the Goddess's Bell. Perfect. Nailed it. You heard Mithrax? And now we can leave. And then it brings us all the way back up to the first floor. Easy peasy. Uh, let's go ahead and cast Blink here. She's gonna cast Toad. Try to get those. And then with that, we're pretty much, like, that's it for this dungeon. Sort of. There's a big surprise at the end. Good Toad, good Toad. Good, good turn. A surprise. Oh, indeed. Oh, indeed. Um, so actually, the reason why we're getting the the toads to 16 is because there is a mini game where if you have toad at 16 you can automatically get the top prize uh, and if you get the top prize it's the one of the most powerful swords in the entire game and you can get it like as soon as the mini game becomes available so which is way earlier than you normally would just another way of breaking my goal is to break this game as hard as possible uh, because it is the way that they did the the character customization, you can break uh, you can break this game like no other RPG I've ever played. I mean, you can break it, uh, and that's what I that's what I'm doing. Look who it is! Look who it is! Uh, what's going on, Defox Rider? Welcome to stream. Curses! You've already gotten to the goddess's bell. First, you ruined my standing with the emperor, and now this. The Emperor will never forgive me for messing this up. If I ever go back to the Empire, he'll have my head. But I'm still a soldier. If I'm gonna die, you're coming with me. You're Kareem. Oh, what's going on, Kareem? So now we have to face Borgin himself. Uh, Borgin is the guy that basically killed Scott. So many WoW streams? Oh, I know you, Kareem. Alright, here's the deal. Here's the deal, team. Alright, I'm gonna cast Berserk. Okay. Uh, she's gonna cast Toad, just because it would be funny, and then I'm gonna one-shot him. He has 240 health, 17 defense. He will die so quickly. He also used a high potion on himself. Okay, hopefully this Toad doesn't land. Okay, it landed. Uh, Borgen's dead. Alright, we can just go past him now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I may have lost, but don't think that you've won. I booby-trapped this cave. Just a little parting gift from me to you. Huh? I'll be waiting for you in hell. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Damn it. Go on, get out! We not leave you. I can't hold it much longer. Run! It's up to you now, Furion. My sweet Nelly. Joseph.
See what I mean? This game is so dark. We literally had Joseph join our party to give us the snowcraft, go to this this snow cavern, and then that's it. He's dead. He's gone. It's it's crazy. How many characters is that so far that they've killed? That's absurd. Why is chat calm? I don't know, man. So safe to say he's not joining the party later. Nope. Good thing he had no equipment or anything else on him. Oof. You know what I would have liked to do? Uh, and next time, next time. Uh, how much? I don't know, man. I don't look at those. I don't look at my numbers like that anymore. Really? I want to say probably 40 or 50. Probably, maybe. Um, I What I would have loved to do is get him to... I don't know. I was streaming WoW this morning. Amazing spectacle that is Final Fantasy 2 in Corey's beard. Uh, what was I going to say? Shit. I forgot what I was going to say. It's fine. I'm going to use that all on these. Another fire. He can't do anything because he's, you know, guy. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, no, you can get, uh, you can, you can max out, um, Joseph. You can actually, you can max him out right now. You can get all of his stats 100%, but I don't want to break the game that bad. Like, I don't want to get my own character. Like, I don't want to get these three to there, and you can't really get Joseph like that without getting all of them. So. Only at, like, a two. Wow. Wow. Eye drops, thanks. Uh, so now we have to go all the way back to the... Pretty much we have to get to the airship so we can go to um, Salamand. But we should go here and rest. Crazy town. I need to fix that bot. I need to I need to figure out how to do it. Get that API key. I think um I think Chef Mike actually sent it to me. What am what am I playing this uh, game on? Uh, PSP. It's the anniversary edition of Final Fantasy 2, so it's on PSP. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to play it, but Okay, let's use Yes, please. 25,000 gil right now. 25,000. There's only three of us because Joseph's dead. Oh, we're in Salaman, so we should probably... You have to... You have to tweet the developer. He'll send you an API. Oh, really? Ooh. Ooh. Um, while we're here, I think it's pretty important that we go pay our respects. Poor Joseph. I'll look after Nelly in his place. I know that would make him happy. Let's talk to Nelly. Daddy. Daddy isn't coming back, is he? No, he did. No, not Joseph. Don't let Joseph's death be in vain. You have to get that bell to cash one. Everybody knows our plan, and that's like not... Not really good, but okay. Oh, I already I already showed it to him, Viper. Alright, we gotta go down to uh Plum here. Plum or Poft, I mean. Yeah, let's go to Poft. And then I can use that to fly to Kashuan. 451, my god. While I had Minwu, what I should have done is I should have gotten my, uh... I should have focused on getting my MP up. 
while I have... I mean, I still could get Sap and just do it. Just because Maria... Maria and Furion... Furion need more... Need more MP. It's okay, I'll just get Sap and do it. Did I just go the wrong way? I think I might have. So Kashuan is actually... I don't have it on my map, but it's in mountains. Um, yeah, that's where I want to go. But there is... Isn't... Uh, Poongoon with a host. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. 94 viewer hosts. My God, dude. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Poongoon, and all of your, uh, all of your goons. I appreciate it. I don't think this is the forest I was looking for. What's going on, Mr. Ghost Lord Shartex? Welcome to the stream, guys. Good to see you. Thank you for the host. Super appreciate it. Hope everybody had uh, good holidays, all that jazz. Is this not what I was looking for? That's fine. We'll just go down here. It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. I'll use this instead. There we go. Gotta get that toad up too, man. Uh, Killer Ram, what's up, man? Welcome. Get those guys moving and, and grooving. That's weird. I don't know how that guy has more. Donna, hello. Dropping to say Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Nice. Good to see you, Donna. Happy New Year. Hope the West Coast is treating you well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Killer Rab, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, man. Poon, what were you, uh, what was Poon playing today? Atlas? Was he playing, was he playing Atlas? I just went to the wrong fucking town. We don't want to go to Palum. We want to go up to Poft. Dude, I get I get Palum and Poft screwed up every single time. I'm telling you. You think I would know where to go at this point? Great holiday season. Mine was great. Yeah, I got to. I was in Boston for uh, a few days, so I wasn't streaming or anything. But back now. But I am having an issue today. Hopefully, it fixes itself. time is at 3 30 jeez louise so late in the day got stuff to do all right so we want to go around this way i could have sworn so okay so slight spoiler there's a chocobo forest in this game and i'm trying to remember where it is on the actual map and i think Is there a map of the world? So many bugs in Atlas? Ah, this game just looks not... It just doesn't look fun to me, regardless of bugs or anything else. We got a potion. Cool. Love it. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. No, I'm I'm wrong. I'm so wrong. We, we're going close to where I'm thinking of, but it's later on. For some reason, I was thinking the Chocobo Forest was over here. It's not. Uh, Chocobo Forest is right where Kashuan is, which is in that that ring south of us. Actually, you know what I might do? Okay, so the Labyrinth South is kind of where we're going. Just now pirate-themed. See, to me, it doesn't even look pirate-themed. That's what I'm confused about. 
See you in the morning? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Uh, we'll be streaming. We have, uh, we're doing, uh, with the Creek. So I'll be doing some PvP and then Overwatch. Pa's gonna spectate me. Kurumi, what's going on? Good to see you, Kurumi. Came to show some love. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming over to the to the Twitch side. Where where I stream full time now. I can't be I can't be this is our first stream back, by the way. Thank you, Kurumi. I appreciate it. Thank you for your Twitch Prime. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. There, I sub. Thank you, I appreciate it. Level Druid or Warlock for the rest of the day? Warrior. Druid. Go for the Druid. Thank you, Kurumi. Thank you for the follow! So I could go all the way around and down, or I could use this to go... I could take the airship down there, which I think is what I'm going to do. We don't need the skill points, right? At this point. Like at all. I'm Sylvanas, baby! It's anytime someone subs, that's what happens. Yeah, we're going to... Kashuan! Perfect! Let's play Final Fantasy 2 with Sylvanas. Oh, what am I doing? Gooder. All right, we're going to we're going to Kashuan. Okay. So Kashuan is in this big Ring of circles, uh, ring of circles, uh, this circle of mountains. But more importantly than that, ready for this? Chocobo Forest. Oh, <gasps> you found a chocobo! If I'm not mistaken, this is actually the first time that a chocobo has been in a Final Fantasy game. There is no chocobos in Final Fantasy 1 at all. Right? So this is the very first time that chocobos have been in the series. Which I love. First time. This desert, so after after the soldiers, after you defeat all the soldiers, this desert that I'm currently in right now, this is the place where you can you can spend right here in uh, this desert, and there's enemies called ant lions. Those are so high high ranking. Also, look at this right here. Wonder what that is. Uh, so they're so high ranking that um, the chocobo will run away. By the way, if you get out, can't actually do anything here, but. So these enemies that we fight down here, I'll just show you. So this is an ant lion, uh, super super strong. I'm gonna use teleport. Uh, she's gonna use blizzard, and he's going to uh, just attack it. These enemies in this desert is how you can max out your party right now. Even before this, you can max them out because they're considered so high ranking. Uh, like my agility increased on that fight. But this whole desert is that. If you uh, let go of your chocobo like I just did if you get off of it you will not be able to It's it runs away so you can't just you know leave it go into a place come back and, and get it like in later later Final Fantasy games you always have to go to the chocobo forest to reclaim your chocobo uh, as you can see these guys take like no damage whatsoever blizzard though destroys them I'm going to keep using teleport. So again, the desert directly south of Kashuan is where you can max out your team. And you can you can literally stay here 
until everyone is 999 health. Uh, all of their skills are up. It'll all work. And did you see how much gill we just got? It was either 1800 or 18,000. I looked real quick. Need chocobo emote. Dude, snickerdoodle, you're so right. Did you guys see how much uh, gill that was? We're also at the point. Oh, and they can cast paralysis. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Asuna. Toad. Mist, of course, naturally. We're at the point where we've leveled where we can fight these as if we're on equal footing. Probably a little bit stronger than them. Which is good. Good for us. I won't be I won't be grinding uh, again for quite some time. We're gonna wait until we're a little bit further in the story before I before I decide to crush literally everything in the game. Oh my god, my throat hurts so bad. Not my throat, man. You know, you guys already know. Nice. That's good. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Oh my god, we absolutely need chocobo emotes. Put that down. Watch everybody's stats. Nice. I missed... Uh... I missed how much money it gave us again. Yeah, my tonsils are fucked up, dude. Real bad. Zombies. This is the first time that we've seen them in the overworld. Yeah, Final Fantasy 2 actually had a lot of first. I'm trying to remember when the first Moogle, Moogle, uh, was introduced. I know the Goddess's Bell, this would have been the first time that the Bell thing was introduced. Chocobo was introduced. Um... How do I like it? I love it. I love it. I've noticed some issues with the selfie cam and stabilization where it like warps the screen, which is really strange. Uh, okay, so we're in Kashuan. This is this is Kashuan Castle now. Uh, these are new enemies. These are not the soldiers or captains that we've been fighting. They're a weaker version of the captains, but a stronger version of the soldiers. These are sergeants. Take them down pretty easy, though. The, yeah, Moogles. Uh, so we can take down these guys. Hopefully that will give us, yeah, pretty good spear level there. I'm wondering with the amount of time that we have, I'm wondering if I can get through here quickly. Hopefully you'll get your Pixel 3 next month. I really like it. I just have to figure out some things about it. It also, I've noticed, is cropping my pictures when I send it to people. Like, I posted a picture on Discord and it cropped the, like, automatically cropped the photo. Which is strange. Um, I'm trying to remember. Hang on one second. Let me look at my... So, we can find Adamantois everywhere in here. Like, or they're pretty rare, actually. Uh, but we can find them. And they have a chance of dropping... Okay. Uh, they have a chance of dropping um, uh, Diamond Shield, which is... We haven't encountered Diamond level armor yet, but this is the first place where you can find it. The pictures you've taken with it are pretty good. Oh, the, uh, it's really good. I just... I was trying to use the video to do a vlog thing, and it, the stabilization was like... It, like, caused it to shake. So... Um, it might be an issue with my pixel, I'm not sure. But I'll, I'll figure it out and see. Okay.
Also, teleport and instant toad teleport stuff like that is the most powerful spells in the game. Did I turn on 60 FPS on video? Um, no. Eagles nudes approved. The sunfire blazes brightly. Goddess bell, airship, dreadnought. We can literally ask it these questions. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this is the sunfire, but we can't actually collect it yet. Fascinating. Can we not go through here yet? Hmm. All your minions? No, I think I missed it. Okay, these are soldiers and balloons. We fought these before, so we're fine. Uh, let's go ahead and teleport. You guys are going to laugh at me, but I have to pee again. Did it? Okay. I'll try doing that. See if that helps. Perfect. So I think the only way we can go, the door is locked. I think what I can do is I can actually use... As the clear tone of the bell rings out, the lock opens without a sound. Can you use the item here, I wonder? Will it let you? No. So now, tiny, tiny bladder. Don't yell at me, guys. You guys are jerks. Look who it is! I came to retrieve the sunfire. I thought I was the only one left who could open the door. I'd meant to look for Eagle's torch, but it's a monster's den in there. I can't keep going on my own. I can't return empty-handed. I don't know what to do next. You know your way around the keep, right? Do you think you could help us find our way through? I'm sorry. The keep is riddled with secrets. I wouldn't know my way around any better than you. But I do want to fight. Will you let me come with you? I guess Gordon can join us. Gordon joins the party. Hopefully he doesn't meet the same fate as Joseph. Because that would be bad. Alright, so Gordon joins us super, super weak. 128 health, 15 MP. Uh, if we look at his stats, he's got a spear and a bronze shield equipped. Uh, so he does come with some bronze armor, bronze gloves, bronze shield. Uh, all level 2 across the board for weapon skills, which is pretty nice. Um, here's his stats pretty solid actually he can be pretty much anything you want him to be right now uh 22 is is pretty good he doesn't know any spells or anything like that uh so we're basically just going to turn him into a uh a fighter um but i might just save a second let me see if i don't think i have one uh i'll give him a sleep tome just in case uh, but I'm also going to... There's something that we'll get soon. I'll give him that instead. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is... Blink. Toad. Uh, defend. He's going to attack. Kind of like Devin. Didn't really seem like I had a choice. No, you don't have a choice. You take him no matter what. But he doesn't die. That I know of. Maybe he does. Okay, I got two toads. Not bad. Let's see how much damage he does. He can be anything you want him. Oh, kind of like Devin. Yeah, you're right. True. I'm a scrub. I'm a scrub. Yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot what I said as well. What sucks is I can't even, I can't even do anything with his health right now. Oh, come on. Please level up, Toad. 
her magic increased. Okay. Anyways, we can get a Cure Tome out of this chest, which is perfect, uh, because everybody knows Cure. That's one of the things I, I like to do. Teach everybody Cure. We're gonna take that, that Cure, though. We're gonna teach it to Gordon as well. Just so he can, you know, do something. And not shock! Ooh, zero damage. All right. Not not always. That's why when he was like savage, I was like that was savage. Like, trying to think of what, what you could have been referring to. Spirit increased. Spirit is 100% what I want to see increasing. Oh my god! Goblin Prince is totally new. We haven't seen those before either. Uh, please attack Gordon. Wow. Not a single Gordon attack, huh? Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow. Was not expecting that. Don't go in that room. I think this is... I wonder why, like, the game throws, like, soldiers and stuff at us. I actually really like Gordon's sprite. I think it's just because I like those colors. <laughs> but I think he looks cool. Virion looks like he's red, white, and blue in it up. Um, which is fine. Okay, I think... I think we just want to go this way. And then up. Afternoon, Brasher Beer. What's up? Looks like we're finding some more shadows in here. 454, no problemo. Okay. Oh, another Adamantois. Uh, so what we can do is we can probably... Perfect. Yes, I love it. Okay, not as good. Again, remember, we want to physically attack this thing because, uh, oh, that actually killed him. Okay, that's fine. That's good, actually. So now I can cast life on him so I can level that up. And he'll be at really low health. Uh, so that means that he'll, his HP will go up on this battle. Didn't mean to do that. Good. Perfect. Okay. All right, weapon skills hopefully went up. Fear and strength increased, Gordon's spear level increased, Gordon's shield level increased, and his health increased, and his stamina level... Okay, good. That's what I wanted. Now he's just gonna... Oops. He's gonna cure himself. 500 gil from the chest, no big deal. I think we just want to go down here now. Yes, no big deal. Uh, ogres! I don't think we've seen those yet. I have, but you haven't. That's what I used to grind the first time, was the ogres and ogre magis. Uh, and we got a mithril helm from them. Cool. You know what I'm actually thinking here. Let's go ahead and... 
Uh, we'll keep the bronze shield on him, but we'll remove everything else. Get him naked. Perfect. Just like I like him. What? <laughs> no big deal. I still have to pee. Oh, these guys can also... So these are wraiths, not shadows. Uh, a little bit harder. Still shouldn't be too hard. They, all of their attacks have drain effects. Uh, so not only will they attack you and do damage, but they'll also be regenerating their health. So if you're a lower level, um, it is possible that you won't be able to kill these because you can't do enough damage to uh, outdo their healing. If you are, like, really, really low level. Uh, I actually don't know where I want to go now. I think there's an item in the corner here. The throwback isn't done yet. Good, good, good. I have more, don't you worry. Doot -doot. Gordon shield and spear level were raised. Oh, shoot. Went the wrong way. Okay, that's... Okay, these are just shadows. No big deal. I'm pretty sure none of these could kill us anyways, so... Ooh, I'm feeling like butts, guys. Feeling like butts. Keep trucking, though. I woke up yesterday with my tonsils being how they are, and I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, I really hope I'm going to be able to, like, be able to talk for a while. And then when I woke, and I was like, I hope they go away. And then when I woke up this morning and it was even worse, I'm like, oh no. So far, so good. I've made it. I don't want to, see, I don't want to, I don't want to go to the bathroom because we're almost done. Yo, get that toad out. Toad level five. Was from last year. Well, he's, I mean, he is a child, so. Oh, yeah, that's from last year. These teleports are all missing. That's fine. Teleport level increased. Good. Nice. Golden shield. Monster in a box. Oh, and were rats. This is another enemy that I was defeating earlier on in the game. Um, they were actually pretty hard because they have they can they can like poison you. Although there's two different types of poison in this game. There's poison and then venom. Venom affects you outside of battle. Poison only affects you inside of battle. Um, just uh, worth noting. But these are were rats. They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They kind of look like uh, Chrissy a little bit. 337 gil from two of those? Yeah, that's not bad. Dude, you're killing it, guy. Maria and guy, so good. Furion is actually my strongest guy right now, but you would never know that. Because of his shields. Uh, oh, my shield level's at nine. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Isn't that the highest? Wait, 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 wait. If I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure 9 is the highest weapon skill in the game. Does anybody know? Is it is weapon skill 9 or 16? Magic is 16. I'm pretty sure ma weapons, though, is 9.
pretty sure it's nine. Um, I just want to double check this because I do not have it. Let's see. I think it's 16. I think. I guess we can find out by doing this. Doesn't look like his are moving at all, so maybe it is 9. I just want to make sure that I don't unequip the shields from him if that's not how high he can go. I actually can't find an easy answer to this. It's kind of annoying. Anybody in chat know? Off the top of their heads? Let's see. Pretty sure it's 16. I'm going to assume it's 16 and just leave it, because fuck. I'm going to just leave it. I think the enemies that we're fighting are just so low level that my abilities aren't able to increase their shit. You know what I'm saying? I actually don't know where I want to go right now. Don't know? Yeah, that's how I feel. All right, perfect. We'll just beat on these guys. Okay, that'll kill that right away. No big deal. Okay, so that means what I'll do if... But I'm not gaining any shield skill from any of these because they're so low level. Yeah, I'm not. So let's go ahead and equip a Mithril Sword. Oops. The room I was looking for, though. notice all of their health. My god. He's blind, not good. I'd still be able to kill them. Yeah! My weapon skill on Furion with his sword, so low. It might potentially even go up on that. No, his strength did, though, and so does his agility. Mithril Axe. Where, Buster? And a Mithril Sword. Okay, so. Um, okay, that helps. Out of MP on him. So the wear buster that I just picked up 
is a, uh, 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 it's a spiked mace effective against Wetter Beast and does more damage versus werewolves. Uh, but we don't actually see any werewolves here for quite some time. I'm actually going to equip the Ancient Sword instead. And then... I don't think there's any reason to... I actually don't know. Another Animat Toys, perfect. Still rocking a Street Fighter? Dude, good. I hope you're PvPing in WoW while you're listening to Street Fighter. That's the way to do it. Okay, so the, the effect of our uh, shield, our ancient sword, worked. Ah, I knew that was going to work. Uh, let's see. Bow level. Spear level. Shield level. Nice. Good idea, right? So that's where we have to go. I actually don't know how to get into the room that's right under me. A lot of these rooms are like not act. There's nothing actually in them. Easy peasy, dude. I do have to pee. I can't. I can't. I can't wait. Uh, golden armor. Technically, this would be the first one that you get while you're going through the game, and it's protected by four mines, which are uh, the first time that we see these, actually. Which I believe are actually fire damage hurts them the most. Could be wrong. It's the only ideas I have, my dude. They have 190 health each, uh, but they don't drop anything that's, like, worth getting from them. Thank you for the follow! I appreciate that, thank you. Yeah, fire damage does more. Keep it up! These eventually become the bomb monster. Uh, actually, we fought. I think we've already fought the bomb monster. But yeah, that's the that's the general idea. A land tortoise. Oops. I think the next place that we want to go is up here. Should be three chests. Perfect. Antidote, mallet, and a eye drops. On loop, about to PvP. Hell yeah, dude. Happy New Year, Alonzo. What's going on? Good to see you. Happy New Year. Okay, that thing's already dead. Oh, that was a land turtle, not an my bed. I thought it was an animant toys. Okay, next we need to go. There we go, that's what I want. I want to fight as many of these as possible. To get that weapon skill up. These are the highest rank monsters in here. Um, I mean, they're rank 5, so... That should have gotten somebody's spear level. Good. Actually, you know what? Equip him with a Mithril Spear. Uh, Ogre Mage! Uh, these are really good. So these have a chance of dropping a Blind Tome, a Blink Tome, a Blizzard Tome, a Sleep Tome, a Hellfire item, which is a very strong fire uh, element. 
um, and a Warp Tome. All of which can sell well, but they're also some of the only ways to get certain spells and stuff like that, so it's pretty good, actually. And if you can fight these early on, you can actually get them before you even find them on the, in the story. And also, they all attack by magic, which is really good, because that builds your magic defense. So the more they attack you, the better. We'll actually see if anybody's magic defense goes up. No. Did get a sleep tone, though. Alright. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I'm actually going to pause here and go use the bathroom and stuff. Okay, let me... Ah, I'm out of MP! One ether. Kind of stinks, actually. Let's see. Let me use eye drops here. I don't think I have a cottage or anything like that that I can... No. Okay, so before us is a boss. Um, but it's a boss that doesn't take any damage from spells whatsoever. So if you have any elemental spells that you want to use against it, you can just sit there and cast them all day. And as long as you have like infinite ethers and stuff like that, you can just keep it going. Um, or I'll get into it after. Just let me peek. Uh, cheers, stream hype. Okay, Shh. stop talking about my bladder. Second of all, the other way that you can defeat this guy, this red soul, this this fighter that stands before us. I got into a random encounter. Uh, the way that you defeat him is by using the spell Sap, which I don't have. I didn't buy it. Uh, but you can actually, he only has 30 MP, and if you can attack his MP, he can't do anything. In fact, uh, if you survive the first three turns against him, you win because he can't do anything. I think it's three or four turns, uh, which I don't think I have sap. Let me just double check real quick. No, oh, okay, which is fine. I've heard there was a monster guarding Eagle's torch. Now I've seen it with my own eyes, a red soul. Peed less often, shush. So sh he's going, this red soul is gonna hit us by super strong spells right off the bat that do no damage whatsoever, but if you are, uh, you know, uh, lower level, then you're probably gonna be hurting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast Blizzard, he's gonna cast Fire, uh, because it doesn't do anything, and he's gonna cast Sleep. We're just gonna keep doing that. Uh, it'll cast Thunder 8, Fire 8, Ice 8, and Scourge 8. So it can hit you with all four of those, and it will hurt, but you should be okay. Any spell cast on it whatsoever will heal it. Any. That includes sleep. That includes toad, uh, if I'm not mistaken. It includes, uh, let's try teleport. Um, but it's a wonderful way to like level up all of your spells. And you can find these later on. You can find yellow souls later on. This is just a boss that they have you fight. And it's good. You want to let it attack you too because of the magic defense that it provides. Uh, it only has 540 health as well. Listen, I've only peed twice today. Three times. See, even teleport. 329 damage. But it healed him. Fire 8. Okay, I believe that's its last spell. I don't think it can do anything else to me. And this counts. This does count towards your level, your spell level. Because you are hitting it every single time, 100%. 4? No, 3. I also haven't drank anything? Yes, I have. Are you kidding me? I drank a whole big thing of Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I've had like four copies today. Oops. Three point five. 
Well, I said I had to pee like two hours ago and I didn't I didn't go. I did now. Anyways, this is not we're talking about the fight, guys. Oh, can't use Blizzard anymore because MP cost. Uh, but I can't use Thunder! Lay off the liquid diet. I had my taco. Amanda, have you been gone? I had my Taco Bell? Like, I ate food. Don't yell at chat. Well, now you guys are yelling at me? Mom? Yes, miss your attacks. Good, good. I'm waiting. I'm depleting all of my health right now, guys. Or all of my MP, I should say. On purpose. Lurk. Lurk. Remember, it only has 540 health, so... Uh, but I keep restoring its health every time I use magic on it. But that's good. Those are the best. Todd gets it. All right, let's wrap up this fight. Okay, that was the last one from Gordon. Perfect. 69 giggity damage. Yeah, it's physical attack does like no damage. 18, whoa, 52, whoa. Okay, that's enough to kill it, thank you. What's up, what's going on, man? Which version of the game? Hi, Truman. This is uh, the PSP version, the anniversary, the 20th anniversary. Look at, look at all that, look at all that. Oh, oh. So we defeated the red soul and we get eagle's torch and back welcome back jed looks nice oh it's real good man uh i kind of broke the game and became super strong but it's fine it's fine you know what i just realized this is fine but i could have been in trouble by doing that uh, because now I can't teleport out of the dungeon. Uh, which is fine. Not a big deal. Because I don't have any ethers anymore. So I have to walk out the long way. That's fine. Normally, when you do a dungeon like this, I would recommend just teleporting out or using warp. Works fine. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Hang on. Because I don't need... you don't. I, at this point, I don't need to level up anything. Let's see here. I might have a warp tone, which I do. Perfect. What a cool spell. What a cool spell. It looks so dope. This is why you keep tomes. Never sell them. Keep them just in case. You never know who you're going to encounter. Unless you know the game. You know? Forgot I can't do that. And the, the higher skill your warp spell is, um, the the further back you go in the dungeon. Hmm. I'm realizing something right now. Okay, I'm skipping... What I can do is 
he can get rid of that and go with a... Let's just have him long sorted up, dude. Actually... Mithril sword would be a little bit better. Did I just get... Did I just, like... Oh, I know what I did. Technically on the first floor, but not really. It's weird. It's confused. Agility increase. Ah, I knew it. There is a bestiary in this game as well. Which is a lot easier to 100% the bestiary in this game than it is in the previous game. Um, which we're gonna do, because I consider that 100%. But this game has a lot more things that I would consider 100% than the bestiary, but the bestiary is definitely, definitely part of it. Okay. Sunfire blazes brightly. So we need to use the eagle's torch that we just got. Sleepy puffers are best puffers. The sunfire passes to Eagle's Torch. Beautiful. And now what I'm going to do, Gordon, is I'm going to take your spear. And I'm going to give you your spear back. Tickle their toe beans. What is this? Oh, shit. Enjoy. Look at how big the Dreadnought is compared to Sid's airship. It's crazy. I forgot this existed here. Oh, my God. got a little arm. Hmm. Interesting. So, uh, we're gonna go down here and get the chocobo. Because it's a long, it's a long way back to where we need to go. And I don't have any MP. Woohoo! Nice, dude. It's not an arm. That's a battle station. Oh, sorry. No? Actually, that is a mechanical device. A mechanical claw. No idea what's going on. Uh, we're becoming the best. Around. The Empire is trying to keep us down. It, this is basically Star Wars. Except the Empire actually, like, does things. We found a Chocobo. Okay. So, now we're just gonna go back to Altier. Because I think that's the only place that we can really go to now. Yeah, we want to go up. Let's do it! I love this. It's so good. This is where Chocobos come from? Yeah, this is actually the first game that Chocobos came from. Uh, I'm actually going to keep my Chocobo, I think. No, I'm not. You just got a Mark of Honor? Nice, grats. This is the very first game that they were in. They weren't in Final Fantasy 1. Okay, I'm curious to see. Sid's not here. So cool, right? I agree. Uh, we can go stay at the inn. 
Oh, 832. Oh, God, it's so expensive. I think it's pretty cool. So many of these games. Well, don't worry, guys. We're going to play through all of them on stream. Well, I mean, they're they're pretty big. Like they're, you know, in gaming and whatnot. Okay. So we're going to go to Altair. Altair, the assassin. How many times am I going to make that joke? Probably going to get in a random encounter. Could feel it sometimes, you know? Beautiful. I missed. But I didn't miss with that one. Damn. Alright, in here. Call your void chicken a void chocobo all the time. It's actually a galactic chocobo, and that's because that's what I call it. Alright, let's see what's going on with our friends here. If the dreadnought attacks again, we're finished. Use that sunfire. Oh, I will. Wait, whoa, 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 what? I tried to stop the princess from boarding the airship, but she wouldn't listen. To think she's been captured by the Empire now. You just gotta save Princess Hilda. It appears the Empire has a supply base far to the north of Finn. The Dreadnought may be docked there now. I've just received word that the Dreadnought is heading somewhere north of Finn. Well, the princess was captured. And of course, this is all your fault, too. You blow up the dreadnought? You couldn't blow your way out of a cloth sack. True. He's got a point. The princess felt badly about always sending you out on such dangerous assignments. She thought the least she could do was to keep you at Kashuan Keep. Was to meet you at Kashuan Keep. At Sid's airship. I oh, wait. I have the... That's not what I want. I have, I have the thing. Can I show you? Can I show you my torch? Nothing happens. Okay. Please, please rescue my daughter. Oh, he doesn't even say anything to it. He's just like, go do it. Okay. Is there anything in here? No. Okay, we have to go. We have to go now to find the princess. Princess Hilda has been kidnapped. Much like in Final Fantasy IX, when Hilda is kidnapped by Kuja. But then it kind of comes out that she wasn't really kidnapped. She kind of left. It's fine. She left Sid. It's fine. So we're going north of Finn now. And I have my spells back, because I have my MP back. Which is perfect. Galactic Chocobo sounds better. That's because it is better. And you should know this. Okay, we're avoiding as many fights as we can by following this. Because you can't get into an encounter if you are here. Alright, so this is Finn right in front of us. Remember, this is where we were fighting the soldiers at the beginning of the stream. So apparently there's a supply line. North of Finn. Hmm. These are all, like, way tougher enemies uh, that we'll be running into. Okay, hang on. I think... I think what we want to do is... Should be to the north and to northwest. We're going to start running into some tough uh, things here. 
All right, so we got a magician and a soldier. Uh, magicians, again, can be really good because they can drop the mage's staff, which is useful for us. Missed, but didn't miss with that one. So, yeah, these guys are tougher. So if you're, if you're not... And we got a Berserk Tome. This is also the place where you get Berserk Tomes. Super strong. Land Turtles, naturally. Okay. No, you have to say Galactic Chocobo. Okay, hang on. So if I'm not mistaken... It should be right up here. I'm trying to think of the best way... Oh! This is fine, this is fine. Yeah, so this might be like the first time that you ever actually encounter most of these enemies. Besides the ones that we saw in Kashuan. HP increase ten, every 10 battles. Can't go that way. More were rats. I'm gonna get us oh, basically over to the dreadnoughts, and we'll leave the dreadnought um, for the next the next part because it's already 4:30, and my voice is dying. Okay, we're going up here because I'm not doing any grinding in between streams. Obviously, pretty 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 powerful right now. Although, the completionist in me wants to make Gordon, uh, like, I want to cap him. Like, get all of his stats. Ca I don't want to shoot him. I want to... Never mind. Dude, this encounter would have been so hard if I ran into it when I was training. Would have been so hard. Yeah, she would have died right there. Dual hits. Still pretty far to the north here. So the Dreadnought kidnapped Sid and Hilda in the airship. And then they had to resupply, so they're they're fueling up and stuff now. But we have the flame that can burn this thing or destroy it. So it's like, not only are we going to destroy the Dreadnought, but we're also going to rescue them at the same time? That's going to be awesome! Alright, right in here. That's where we're going. Cool. Oops. That's fine. That's fine. It's no big deal. Get those weapon skills up before we go in here. Also, Furion is about to break uh, 2,000 HP, which is pretty cool. pretty wild. One more skill up. Damn. Eight hours and 44 minutes so far. Almost 40,000 gil. It's pretty crazy. Uh, all right, that's it for me, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna end there. Uh, we're gonna kick butt. See the increase. We raised about 700 health. Just on Furion, about doubled his MP, uh, which is pretty. Oh, I don't even want to look at that. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so we're gonna call it there. Let me just... Hello? 
That was weird. It was like being super delayed. It wasn't letting me do it. Um, so I want to say that we are... I would say... Let me, let me see here. Whoops. Um... I'd say a good quarter of the way through the game now. Yeah. Yeah, I would say we're about a quarter of the way through the game. Because uh, you're just getting off work, about to go to lurk mode. Yeah, I'm ending anyways, uh, because it is that it is that time of day. It is that time of day, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Our first stream back, and it was a nice full, full day. We played WoW. Uh, we got our Dwarven Heritage Armor today. Um, so not only did my dwarf hit 120, we hit Exalted with Iron Forge, and we got the Heritage Armor all this morning. Uh, and then today, we did a ton in Final Fantasy 2. Uh, and then in the next time that we stream Final Fantasy 2, which will be on Monday, I believe, or this weekend, probably Monday, uh, we will um, destroy the Dreadnought, hopefully, and, uh, and see what's, what's remaining for us from there. Which is actually some pretty good stuff, because the game gets super... Even more dark than it already is. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I would really, really appreciate if you're new to the stream, if you followed, maybe subscribe to my channel over on YouTube. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to Twitch and follow there so you can watch this live and all that stuff. Uh, there's a Legend of Dragoon video coming out today. Um, no raid tonight, obviously. Um, and uh, yeah, huge shout out to uh, Poon Goon for the host. Thank you very much, man. Um, uh, shout out to all the patrons and subscribers and, and viewers and lurkers and cheerers and all that jazz to make the channel go around. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for allowing me to do this full time. Uh, again, we're going for 100 patrons over on patreon.com slash online. online. We're currently at 74. Uh, when we hit 100, we'll do a 24-hour stream. Um, and it'll be Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep and Civilization 5 or 6. Uh, so and anybody that wants to play that is invited to, to play as long as they can stay in for most of you know a few hours at least uh but i love you guys thank you for hanging out i'm gonna see if there's anybody that we can raid or uh, or host over on twitch uh yeah there is um i haven't seen Sierra liu in quite some time so why don't we go why don't why don't we go host him uh, uh i'm gonna throw a raid out all right i'm gonna throw a raid out i love you guys you guys, are, you're the bee's knees. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is Friday, so we're, we're uh, Prakriki's gonna join me. We're gonna hang out with Pod Daddy, and uh, and we're gonna play uh, World of Warcraft. We're gonna do some twos, and then he's gonna coach me in Overwatch. And it's gonna be a fun fun time. All right, I love you all. Never give up. Never surrender. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you. Okay, bye. Happy New Year. <laughs>